everyone welcome to my youtube channel in last lecture i have shown you how to actually code the backend of this new member let me just show you so in the previous videos i have shown you how to design this how to design this and how to reset text i have like this and okay so in previous video i have shown you how to reset this how to save data into database with the save button and today i'm going to show you how to code for this new star so let me just show you what we are going to do this to today actually so today i'm going to design for new star in the new star i want that when i click on this this form needs to be open and the text fields and this type of view okay so I'm going to design this today. So let's start with that. Okay, so just start it. So for that, I need one form. Okay, so let me just add new form. To add new form, just go to your project, right click on that and click at Windows form. And in this Windows form, you can actually name the form. That is, I'm naming new star and just click on this add button now here we have so now what i want is the size of this uh, star form needs to be the same of this so if you have not watched my previous video just go and watch my previous videos and just see how this is designed okay so just click on this i'm copying the size of this and just copy this and just come back to this new stuff and just paste it and just hit enter so now this is off site so the first thing i want that to set the background image so for that just right click on this okay and go to properties and search for background image so let's search for background image here you can see this background image is here just click on this and just click on this local resource and click on import and just Search for the image which you want to set into the background. So I'm setting this. Okay, so open it. Just open. So it's in the tile form. So I want it to be stretched. So background image layout. Just click on this and click on stretch. So now we have. So now what we want is when I click on this new star, this new star form needs to be open. So for that, just double click on this to generate a click event of this new star. This is actually a menu strip and in menu strip its design name is here you can see this new staff tool strip menu item and so on so let me just double click on this and here you can see this new staff tool strip menu item click event is generated now for this i want that when i hit this i want to open this this uh, form so just need to uh, open this form so i'm just creating a object of this form that is ns is equal to new new stuff so that's it and just need to show so just show and now save it and now execute it and see if it's coming over or not so just click on this and now you can see this is coming but not in the center so how to set that when i click on this it pop ups into the center of the screen so just go to your new stuff click on this form and just go search for start position and select center screen and just control and save it and just start it and now when i click on this it will come up with in the center of the screen so you can either do it this for multiple times but it will come in the center okay so now we are going to design over this so in this what we need is for, let me first copy the logo so i'm just copying the logo okay you can have your own logo that's not an issue so first thing i have placed is my logo and after that i need few text boxes so i need text box just copy and paste to replicate it and after that I need radio buttons so just radio buttons drag and drop it copy and paste okay so we have two radio buttons for male and female and after that I need a date time picker date time picker just drag and drop it here 
and after that I need one more text box so just copy this text box and paste it to make it more and just paste one more for here for email address and after that I need one more date type picker so just copy and paste it and after that need for few more text boxes so just copy and paste it to replicate okay so first thing what we need is I just need only date so just click on this and make it short okay so this is a format and change this format to short it will decrease it's to only date and now it's nice for the same for the second date time picker just go to properties and for search for format and just click on short and now it's size is small okay so that's not a big issue it's quite easy you can program very easily and after that just change the name of these so just change to mail and this one to female and after that I want to just name each of these text fields for that I need labels just drag okay so I'm not uh, dragging and dropping it uh, the labels I'm just copying these labels from here so I need these labels okay so just select all these okay so sorry because this is selected I have to just deselect it first after that I need these and these these I just copy this and just paste it here oh sorry it's not copied actually what's the issue okay you can't copy it what the control C I'm trying this so okay so it's not being copied I don't know why but okay you can't copy the control so let me select actually I have copied this from here so why this is not okay you can copy this one by one so I'm just copying it one by one the first name so let me just close this new members yes and just design okay now two at a time so there is some problem with this but that's not an issue now so just copy and paste and you can actually uh, create one by one and now here you can see this date of birth is here uh, now mobile number is also so just like this and it's now looking nice a uh, few more are left just copy this and paste it here and now here you can see this okay so I just need few more levels like uh, okay so for that let me just drag and drop it label and just here I have I need two labels so one for this and one for this so in this we need this state okay so state of the state state of the star and in this I need uh, city just hit enter here you can see this uh, this has a background so I have previously shown you how to remove this and uh, now I'm also going to show you this again okay so first I want to increase the font size so I'm just changing just click on the label and select 10 and bold okay so now it's okay so I want that the background color needs to be transparent so just search for background in the label properties and click on this arrow here and after that select the web and select transparent here you can see now it's transparent the same way first let me change the font of this city uh, to 10 and hit bold and ok and just make it transparent too so search for background color and click on this and web and transparent ok so now it's good so here you can see this now it's perfectly nice 
and if you are worried about that how these uh, images are in this I have in previous video I have shown how to set in icons to these levels and just go and watch my previous video so here you can see this now let me just remove the background of these I have just selected these two and after that search for background color here the same way and search for web and transparent make this transparent and i want to button as well just let me set it on the right position and okay so now it's on the right position and i want you button to save and reset it so just search for buttons no let me just copy the buttons okay so okay let's remove this and let me just copy the button from here already preset image okay so let me just drag and drop it and here you can see so now start this and new stuff when you open this you can see this uh, it's working very nice and you can type anything so that's it for the today's video. In the next video, I'm going to show how the save button and reset button will work. And if you have not subscribed my YouTube channel, then please subscribe. And if you need the source code, just comment in the description. So that's it for the today's video. Thanks for watching. Please like and share with your friends. Thanks.